Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today we are finally picking up this camera. I've gotten ready for the day. Liam is down for his after afternoon nap. We have the book pick for February. So we're gonna talk about that in this vlog and some other updates in this vlog and we may go to Target. I have been so tired. Yesterday I was sick for only a day. Um, basically we have lots of updates to talk about. So hopefully I remember all the things <laughs> and then we do need to run to Target because I need to pick up Liam some new socks. Little guy has completely outgrown his socks and we have really slippery wood floors in this house and he did the splits this morning with his socks that don't have grips. I always have him in grippy socks just because the floors like as an adult I have wiped out on these floors. I don't know what they're made of or what the thing is but they're very slick like if you run and do the slide you will slide all the way across the floor so of course he outgrew his socks with the grippies they're like super tight on him and it's horrible so i was like right i'm just gonna put him in his cute little nike socks that don't have grips and he did the splits this morning which scared the tar out of him and he cried and i felt horrible so my goal today is to run out to target and get the little guy some socks um, yesterday. So yesterday was chaos. It was one of those days where we were running out of the house. Liam had his 18 month appointment and it went really, really well. And I did touch base about this over on Instagram, but I am going to talk to you guys about it here too. Um, his eight, 18 month appointment went very well. He is just where he needs to be. And for a moment there, he was a bit delayed in his walking and um, we did therapy and got him up to speed and he is good to go. And he is now on point with everything. He's caught up in where he needs to be for 18 months. So we are not going back to the doctor until his two year appointment, which is so wild. Cause I feel like the first 18 months is crazy. You're there at like the newborn appointment, you know, or the three days post baby being born. And then it's like the two month, the six month, the eight month, the nine month, the 12 month, the 15 month, and then the 18 month. And it's suddenly like, you don't have to go until they're two. Yeah, he's doing really good. He's running. And like I said, I was running out the door. I am on some medication. I do need to talk to you guys and like update you guys in a separate video when Larry's home and like I sit him down and we like talk to you guys together because he's currently at baseball. But I am on some meds right now. And yesterday was chaos. And I, I could not remember for the life of me. I hope I'm not alone in doing things like this. My, I was telling my mom and my grandmother they were like, you need the little pill thing or put a calendar on your refrigerator because I couldn't remember if I took it. I have to take it. And I doubled it, I think, because I got so sick yesterday. Um, after the appointment, we picked up food and was taking it home to eat it. I laid Liam down for his nap. And then Larry and I were sitting at the table and I was trying to eat. I was so tired. We didn't sleep well the night before either. And I was like, I can't eat this. I didn't know if it was just, I was so overtired because I had like one to two hours of sleep the night before. Um, so I was like, I can't eat this lunch. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm just gonna go lay down in bed. So I went, I laid down, I napped when Liam napped and then I woke up when Liam woke up. I still felt so sick. So I took Zofran and then I made myself some peppermint tea made dinner, couldn't eat it. And I'm like, it has to be that I doubled up on the pill and it's triggering me to be so ill. It's horrible because today I woke up and I feel so much better. So that is a huge plus. But now that you guys are all caught up on that, oh, and I do wanna like going back to the 18 month appointment and delays and stuff like that. Like, yes, absolutely. I just want to give all the mamas out there who like go through that and dads who have like, they're not meeting that milestone. Their baby is missing a milestone or not meeting the milestone right on time. And that was us with walking. Like Liam was a little bit behind on his walking. He was furniture walking, but he was afraid to let go. And um, I got a lot of backlash and a lot of false Things were being said on the internet about all of that, like that I don't take Liam to his doctor's appointments, I don't take him to therapy, I don't do this, I don't do that. And the reason people may think that I don't do that is because I don't film taking him to his doctor's appointments and I'm not filming him going to PT. And so people just like gather what they gather and think that because I'm not filming it and putting it on the internet, it must not be happening. Kind of like that thing in reverse where did you really go on vacation if you didn't film it or share a video of it or a picture of it kind of thing? So, but anyways, to all the parents that are going through that, it's okay, giving you a huge hug. Like 
baby will get there. Of course, share your concerns and um, with the pediatrician, especially if they're not meeting that milestone. And of course, the doctor is going to know that they're not meeting that milestone. And you guys talk about it. But Liam is there now. He is perfectly fine. He just had, he didn't want to walk. And part of that, I think, is because he does go to like toddler time and library time now. And he has been going for a couple of months. And I feel like when I took him to this toddler time for his couple, like it was before Christmas time, I think it might have been November. And I swear he got such a boost out of seeing these other toddlers walking around. And he was like, oh, this is what I should be doing. Because he is home with Larry and I the majority of the time. So he's not around a lot of other toddlers or at all, really. And I, I am a first time mama, so I will admit, like, I carry him, I coddle him, I hold him, and I don't know, guys, but he is where he needs to be. This is a very vulnerable thing because I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, it's a very small percentage. It is like 2% of the internet that takes things and twists it and manipulates it and turns it into something it's absolutely not. But for the genuinely, like, sweet people here who are watching, um, that just enjoy my content. Uh, I just want to give you big hugs. Like if, if that baby is not meeting those milestones, deep breaths, it is okay. They meet them in their own time and it will be okay. But again, the concerns are valid. So talk about it with your pediatrician. But anyways, yesterday was like a really great day for Liam. I was so happy for him, but mama got sick over here, but mama is doing much better today. <laughs> now to wrap all that up, we have picked the February read, which I'm very excited about. I will link the book on Amazon down below if you guys are interested. It is called <sighs> Something Strangers. Hold on. Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. This is what the book looks like. It's a very like black and pink vibe. Again, I'll link it down below. I was disappointed. I am one of those nerdy book people that loves a hardcover book. It only comes in soft cover and then Kindle. So anytime I recommend books, I'm recommending them from Amazon because it ships next day. So I'll be getting mine today. And if you guys order today, you should get yours either today, if you order in the morning or tomorrow, if you would like to join. But it's also a leap year. We have an extra day in February. So we have an extra day to get the book read. And I'm very excited about it. So kind of like a romance -y vibe. In the meantime, I picked up my Harry Potter book and I started reading it last night. This is just to until my book arrives today. I don't know why. Do you ever guys reach that phase of life where you just need extra comfort or you go back to those things that you love and that make you super comfortable? I feel like that I'm doing that with Harry Potter. I, I just I'm consuming everything Harry Potter when I'm getting ready for the day. I'm watching, you know, a movie or I'm listening to the Harry Potter soundtrack picking up the book. And I picked up Deathly Hallows because out of the entire series, I think that is the one that I have read the least amount of, just because it's the last book. It's the beefiest book. Um, and I just think that in the Potter films, as the books go on and get later and later, there is so much detail that gets left out in the films. As you know, if you're a Harry Potter fan, like if they were to make a 12 hour film, we would sit and watch that film. They put everything into it, but they didn't. <laughs> they did a wonderful job though, because we love the movies, but I'm gonna read this book. But first, the book that's coming. Lexi's um, <laughs> on the lanai in the sun taking her nap. Liam is taking his nap for the day. And I have gotten dressed and ready for the day. Hair is done. Larry's out. He's doing baseball. I was going to do an Instagram live very suddenly. I was like, right. I have the courage to film an Instagram live. And then I got like this overload whelm of anxiety. And I was like, no, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I didn't do it. I don't even know. But it's a good thing I didn't do it because little man has woken up from nap. Hello. And his face is bright red. Sometimes he'll wake up like that anyways because he lays with... He lays on his tummy a lot and he lays on his face. Hi, bud. Hello, big smile. But he had his 18 month well appointment yesterday. So I am gonna check him for a fever just in case. On top of checking for fever, he's also getting these two teeth in at the same time. What are those called? I keep calling them fangs, like the lower fangs. They're not fangs, they have a name. Canines, I don't know. Come here, buddy, let's check your temp just to make sure you're good. This is what I have. I don't know. The doctor always uses the ear one, but this is the one that I have. 
need one more. Thanks, bud. No fever. Good to go. So that just leads me to believe that he was sleeping on his cheeks and that those teeth are causing some havoc, huh? Unless you're doing so well. He's down here playing with his books. We need to make some lunch. Dad Dad's going to be coming home soon. Say we would bye bye, Miss Rachel. Say bye bye, Miss Rachel. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Throw it down. Na 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 na. <laughs> Does that mean you don't want mommy to sing? You always have loved mama singing. Mama's got to turn the sound on. Larry is home from baseball. We have Dinosaur Train on the TV, PBS Kids. Liam loves his dinosaurs. I'm getting ready to make lunch, but first, our book is here. It feels tiny, like super thin. So, shall we? I'm using kitchen scissors. Kitchen scissors, let's come in at Oh, it's not that thin. Oh, here it is. Why does it look? Scuffy. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Here we have the book. That means that I can start today. How exciting. We met 15 years ago, almost to the day when I moved my stuff into the NYU dorm room next to yours at Senior House. You called us fast friends. I like to think it was more. We lived on nothing but the excitement of finding ourselves through music, photography, hanging out in Washington Square Park, and all the weird things we did to make money. I learned more about myself that year than any other. Yet somehow it all fell apart. We lost touch the summer after graduation when I went to South America to work for National Geographic. When I came back, you were gone. A part of me still wonders if I pushed you too hard after the wedding. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't see you again until a month ago. It was a Wednesday. You were rocking back on your heels, balancing on that thick yellow line that runs along the subway platform, waiting for the F train. I didn't know it was you until it was too late, and then you were gone. Again, you said my name. I saw it on your lips. I tried to will the train to stop just so I could say hello. After seeing you, all of the youthful feelings and memories came flooding back to me, and now I've spent the better of a month wondering what your life is like. I might be totally out of my mind, but would like to get a drink, but would you like to get a drink with me and catch up on the last decade and a half? So essentially you have these two people that were great friends. One I think thought it was a little bit more, maybe one ran away from it. Life goes on and then they rekindle, catch up. We'll see what happens. Definitely a perfect Valentine day vibe, we'll see. So again, we'll link down below. It arrived, which means I can start the book today. And it looks like it's gonna be a fast read because the print is, a bit larger and I feel like the pages are a bit like condensed so it's gonna be a fast read anyways now it's time to make us all some lunch and then we're gonna run out to Target little man loves a Target run except one time every other time he has loved it except for one time we are all in the car minus oh. one I forgot my camera inside so we're gonna vlog on the phone but it is a beautiful day. It is a warm day. I am severely overdressed. It is 73 degrees, but it is like that warm sunshine, kind of 73 degrees. Here comes Larry. <laughs> we almost laugh. <laughs> I did hear that. He's too cute. So we're having a family run to Target. Larry and I are gonna make a list on the way there. Larry's gonna make the list. I'm not cause I'm driving, but we're gonna gather what we need. Do a little target run, get the little man out of the house, have some fun. Let's go. Go, go. It will be so cute. Come on.
are officially back from Target and I brought everything that we purchased into the bedroom and I figured we would do a little haul from Target. So first things first, and I am wearing it on my lips now, but very lightly, I was looking for lip liner and the NYX section was like sold out of lip liner, but I found these and they're the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. And then I picked it up in Stay Exceptional, which is number 25, and oh, Seek Adventure 30. And they just looked really pretty, like neutral, nude, mauve pink kind of shades. I don't know. We'll see. I need to try them a little bit more. Um, we're going to go all over the board here. I also picked up this. This is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It primes, conceals highlights bb cream base corrector illuminator oh my gosh it does everything so maybe we'll do a get ready with me in the next vlog and i will put these on i love the age rewind so i'm intrigued to see how this goes i picked up shade 01 which is shade light next we have little wellies little band-aids these are dinosaur band-aids um, assorted flex fabric bandages now you guys know when you have a toddler falls happen we're coming into like spring summer season actually we're not at all especially you guys up north it is very much winter it's february but it's nice here it's 75 degrees liam's gonna skin some knees i'm just preparing for the toddler outdoor scrapes so got some cute little wellies the socks this is what i said we were going out for so i picked him up the 12 to 24 month crew socks. I thought they were cute. And then also some dinosaur low, low cut socks. Um, there's just dinosaurs on this pair, but the rest are just basic. I thought they were adorable. Then we have my favorite, the EOS lip balm and sweet mint. We have children's Benadryl recommended by Liam's pediatrician. Tylenol recommended by Liam's pediatrician. Kitty treats. These are by the brand Kindful Chicken Flavored Soft Chews. There's no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives in here in these little chicken kitty cat treats. I saw these on sale. I was very excited about them. They're the Pyrex glass containers. They're not very big, but this is perfect to like chop up fruit or little snacks and have them on the go. I, I'm torn. I didn't want glass because a lot of times I'll put Liam's snacks in a container like this or something like that and then he can have it but with it being glass and it being so heavy i'm not going to give him these to have snacks in so this will be like leftover food leftover berries stuff like that for us and i got the the pink and the blue um larry picked up some batteries i have some clothes in here that are really cute spring staples guys amazing another thingy of kitty treats we got a big container Larry picked up this for baseball. He has never tried it. We use the um, the Biofreeze. He uses the Biofreeze roll-on ball. I actually use it for my neck sometimes too, but a lot of times I don't because of carrying Liam. I don't want him to like touch Biofreeze. But for baseball, he picked up the Will Perform by Serena Williams Fast Acting Pain Relief Spray Lidocaine. So it's a lidocaine spray. I wonder if he knows it's by Serena Williams, tennis player. It's gotta work. All right, now let's get down to the nitty gritty fun things. Okay, first bras. These felt so nice, like padded t-shirt bras, but guys, they are so soft. It's by the brand Maiden Form. Basically sexy, seamless bralette. It is, it is a bra, but it's like, I don't know. It's different, it's different. It's like soft padded. It's like that combination of it's a sports bra, but like it's a bra. And I got it in nude and then black in a size medium very excited about those now for the fun bit all right this tank top so freaking cute i was late to the tank top section in target you may be too <laughs> unfortunately hopefully they do a restock because they were like sold out in my size i'm a size medium they were sold out in like everything medium which was really sad but i found the last black with white stripe like how cute is this tank top with leggings, with jeans. Oh my gosh, the white trim with the black. I could not. So, and it's a high neck. Oh, I would have bought probably two or three of the same exact one, to be honest, because what if something happens to this one? What if it gets stained? What if it rips? Like, I love this so much. 
but they only had one left in my size and I was lucky to get the one they had left. This is by the brand A New Day, always coming in with the best things. And they're super soft also. Look at this stretch. Okay, ladies, gents, we're good to go. So we got that. And then we went with the basic tees, again, by the brand A New Day. Love the thick high neck. Love the pink. So yay. Look at, look at how cute. Like that pink moment is just adorable. And then I got it in this really adorable periwinkle. This is periwinkle purple. So cute. Classic white. Of course, you can't go wrong with like a white tee with black leggings. Staple. The blue, I wasn't sure about it. I was like, Larry, does this color look good on me? He's like, yes, it does. I said, okay, I'll get it. Plus Larry and Liam wear blue all the time. So maybe I can match them occasionally and wear blue. Larry and Liam look really good in blue though because they have beautiful blue eyes. But, um, and then like the white and black tank, I got pink. I feel like pink is just, not to like toot my own horn, but honestly, pink is my color. Just, it goes well with my skin and my hair. So your girl loves a pink shirt. For Liam, I found him, of course, this blue t-shirt and a 2T. Again, they were wiped out. I was like, they don't have his size in anything. I must have just missed it. And hopefully, like I said, they're restocking and maybe I'll pop in a Target next week because I don't know when they get their orders in. Guys, do you know when Target gets their clothing orders in? Because I need to go when they get it because they have very cute things out for the boys, but they were all sold out of Liam size. But I did happen to grab this shirt in a 2T. And how darling is this? It's like, Liam loves dinosaurs, so it's super cute, but it's just gray and black. But it's not like, it. it's like classy, classic dinosaur shirt. Um, but I think that is everything that I picked up from Target. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I think I'm going to end this video here. I think it's a bit on the longer side anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I am very excited to share some very exciting news with you guys coming up. It is going to be, oh my gosh, I just, I can't, I can't believe it. I'm just excited to bring you guys along and yeah, it's going to get very interesting here soon, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I will see you again in the next one.